The East Syriac Rite or East Syrian Rite, also called Assyrian Rite, Persian Rite, Chaldean Rite, or Syro-Oriental Rite is an Eastern Christian liturgical rite that uses East Syriac dialect as liturgical language. It is one of two main liturgical rites of Syriac Christianity. It originated in Edessa, Mesopotamia and was used historically in the Church of the East, centered in Sasanian Empire Persia, and remains in use in churches descended from it, namely the Assyrian Church of the East including the Chaldean Syrian Church of India, the Ancient Church of the East, the Chaldean Catholic Church, and the Syro-Malabar Catholic Church. The latter two churches are Eastern Catholic Churches in full communion with the See of Rome. Topic. Scope of usage. Topic. Variety of terms used as designations for this rite reflects its complex history and consequent denominational diversity. Common term East Syriac Rite is based on the liturgical use of East Syriac dialect, while other terms reflect particular historical and denominational characteristics. The Syrian and Mesopotamian Iraqi Eastern Catholics are now commonly called Chaldeans or Assyro Chaldeans. The term Chaldean, which in Syriac generally meant magician or astrologer, denoted in Latin and other European languages greater Syrian nationality, and the Syriac or Aramaic language. For Aramaic, it especially refers to that form which is found in certain chapters of Daniel. This usage continued until the Latin missionaries at Mosul in the 17th century adopted it to distinguish the Catholics of the East Syriac Rite from those of the West Syriac Rite, which they call Syrians. It is also used to distinguish from the Assyrian Church of the East, some of whom call themselves Assyrians or Sarayi, and even Christians only, though they do not repudiate the theological name Nestorian. Modern members of the Assyrian Church of the East and the Ancient Church of the East distinguish themselves from the rest of Christendom as the Church of the East or Easterns, as opposed to Westerns by which they denote Orthodox, Syriac Orthodox or Syrians. In recent times they have been called, chiefly by the Anglicans, the Assyrian Church, a name which can be defended on archaeological grounds. Brightman, in his Liturgies Eastern and Western, includes Chaldean and Malabar Catholics and Assyrians under Persian Rite. The Catalogue of Liturgies in the British Museum has adopted the usual Roman Catholic nomenclature, Chaldean Rite, that of the Chaldean Catholic Church and the Assyrian Church of the East Malabar Rite, Southern India, Syro-Malabar Catholic Church Syriac Rite, Syriac Orthodox and Syriac Catholic Church Most printed liturgies of these rites are Eastern Rite Catholic. The language of all three forms of the East Syriac Rite is the Eastern dialect of Syriac, a modern form of which is still spoken by the Assyrian Church of the East, the Ancient Church of the East, which broke away from the Assyrian Church of the East in the 1960s due to a dispute involving changes to the liturgical calendar, but is now in the process of reunification, and the Chaldean Catholic Church. Topic. History Topic. The Chaldean Rite originally grew out of the Jerusalem Antioch liturgy. The tradition, resting on the legend of Abgar and of his correspondence with Christ, which has been shown to be apocryphal, is to the effect that St. Thomas the Apostle, on his way to India, established Christianity in Mesopotamia, Assyria, and Persia, and left Thaddeus of Edessa or Adai, one of the seventy and St. Mari in charge there. The liturgy of the Church of the East is attributed to these two, but it is said to have been revised by the Patriarch Yeshuyab III in about 650. Some, however, consider this liturgy to be a development of the Antiochian. After the First Council of Ephesus, 431, the Third Ecumenical Council, the Church of Seleucia Cte Siphon, which had hitherto been governed by a Catholicos, refused to condemn Nestorius. Therefore, as part of the Nestorian Schism, the Church of Seleucia Cte Siphon cut itself off from Orthodox Christianity. In 498 the Catholicos assumed the title of Patriarch of the East, and up until the 1400s the Church of the East spread throughout Persia, Tartary, Mongolia, China, and India due to the efforts of missionaries, however, at the end of the 14th century due to the conquests of Tamerlane and his destruction of Christian settlements across Asia. In addition to other factors such as anti-Christian and Buddhist oppression during the Ming dynasty, the large Assyrian church structure was all but destroyed reducing it to a few small communities in Persia, their homeland in Mesopotamia, Cyprus, the Malabar coast of India, and the island of Socotra. 
These remaining communities were later whittled away at in other events. The Church of the East in Cyprus united themselves to Rome in 1445. There was a schism in 1552 between Mar Shimon and Mar Elia, which weakened the church. The Christians of Socotra were Islamized in the 16th century. The Assyrian Church in India was divided and cut off from their hierarchy due to the Portuguese supported Synod of Diamper in 1599, and the Alia line of the Assyrian Church of the East joined the Chaldean Catholic Church in 1830. Due to these events, the Church of the East was turned into a small community of around 50,000 people in the Hikari Mountains under the headship of the Shiam line. A small group of Indians eventually rejoined the Assyrian Church of the East, forming the Chaldean Syrian Church in the 1900s, although the main body of the Malabar Christians joined Catholic or West Syriac Rite churches in their own set of schisms. Additionally, the secession of a large number to the Russian Church due to the Russian ecclesiastical mission in Ermia, a Kurdish massacre in 1843, and an attempt to form an independent Catholic Chaldean Church on the model of the Old Catholics resulted in more Eastern Rite Assyrians separating. The Eucharistic service there are three anaphori, those of the Holy Apostles Saints Adai and Mari, Mar Nestorius, and Mar Theodore the Interpreter. The first is the most popularly and extensively used. The second was traditionally used on the Epiphany and the feasts of Saint John the Baptist and of the Greek doctors, both of which occur in Epiphany Tide on the Wednesday of the Regation of the Ninevites, and on Maundy Thursday. The third is used except when the second is ordered from Advent to Palm Sunday. The same pro anaphoral part serves for all three. Three other anaphori are mentioned by Ebedaishu Metropolitan of Nisibis, 1298, in his catalogue, those of Barsuma, Narses, and Diodor of Tarsus, but they are not known now, unless Dr. Wright is correct in calling the fragment in Brit. Muse. Ad. 14669. Diodor of Tarsus. The Eucharistic liturgy is preceded by a preparation, or office of the prothesis which includes the solemn kneading and baking of the loaves. These were traditionally leavened, the flour being mixed with a little oil and the holy leaven Malka, which, according to tradition, was given and handed down to us by our holy fathers Mar Adai and March Mari and Mar Toma, and of which and of the holy oil a very strange story is told. The real leavening, however, is done by means of fermented dough from the preparation of the last Eucharistic liturgy. The Chaldean and Syro Malabar Catholics now use unleavened bread. The liturgy itself is introduced by the first verse of the Gloria in Excelsis and the Lord's Prayer, with farsings, giura, consisting of a form of the Sanctus. Then follow the introit psalm, variable, called Marmitha, with a preliminary prayer, varying for Sundays and greater feasts and for memorials and ferias. In the Malabar Rite, PSs, XIV, CL, and CXVI are said in alternate verses by priests and deacons. The Antiphon of the Sanctuary, Unitha D. Conchi, variable, with a similarly varying prayer. The Lakumara, an antiphon beginning, To thee, Lord, which occurs in other services also preceded by a similarly varying prayer. The Trisagion. Incense is used before this. In the Eastern Rite at Low Mass the elements are put on the altar before the incensing. There are four or five lections, a the law and b the prophecy, from the Old Testament, c the lection from the Acts, d the epistle, always from St. Paul, e the gospel. Some days have all five lections, some four, some only three. All have an epistle and a gospel, but, generally, when there is a lection from law there is none from the Acts, and vice versa. Sometimes there is none from either law or Acts. The first three are called Kirani lections, the third Shlaika apostle. Before the Epistle and Gospel, hymns called Turgama interpretation are, or should be, said, that before the Epistle is invariable, that of the Gospel varies with the day. They answer to the Greek prokiamina. The Turgama of the Epistle is preceded by proper psalm verses called Shariah beginning, and that of the Gospel by other proper psalm verses called Zumara song. The latter includes Alleluia between the verses, the deacon's litany, or eklin, called Karazutha proclamation, resembles the great synapta of the Greeks. During it the proper antiphon unitha of the gospel is sung by the people. The offertory The deacons proclaim the expulsion of the unbaptized, and set the hearers to watch the doors. 
The priest places the bread and wine on the altar, with words in the Church of the East, but not in the Chaldean Catholic rite which seem as if they were already consecrated. He sets aside a memorial of the Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ. Chaldean, usual Malabar rite, Mother of God, but according to Raulin. S. Latin of the Malabar Rite, Mother of God Himself and of the Lord Jesus Christ, and of the Patron of the Church in the Malabar Rite, of St. Thomas. Then follows the proper Antiphon of the Mysteries Unitha D. Razi, answering to the Offertory. The Creed This is a variant of the Nicene Creed. It is possible that the order or words, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost and was made man, and was conceived and born of the Virgin Mary, may enshrine a Nestorian idea, but the Chaldean Catholics do not seem to have noticed it, their only alteration being the addition of the filioque. The Malabar book has an exact translation of Latin. In Neil S. Translation of the Malabar Rite The Karazutha, the Offertory, and the Expulsion of the Unbaptized come before the lections and the Creed follows immediately on the Gospel, but in the Propaganda Edition of 1774 the Offertory follows the Creed, which follows the Gospel, the first lavabo, followed by a kushapa beseeching, i.e., prayer said in kneeling and a form of the orate fraters, with its response. Then the variations of the three anaphora begin, the kiss of peace, preceded by a g. Hantha, i.e., a prayer said with bowed head, the prayer of memorial of the living and the dead, and the diptychs, the latter is now obsolete in the Church of the East. The anaphora as in all liturgies this begins with a form of a sursum corda, but the East Syriac form is more elaborate than any other, especially in the anaphora of Theodore. Then follows the preface of the usual type ending with the sanctus, the post-sanctus to use the Hispanico-Gallican term. This is an amplification similar in idea and often in phraseology to those in all liturgies except the Roman of the idea of the Sanctus into a recital of the work of redemption, extending to some length and ending, in the anaphora of Nestorius and Theodore, with the recital of the institution. In the anaphora of the Apostles the recital of the institution is wanting, though it has been supplied in the Anglican edition of the Church of the East book. Hammond liturgies Eastern and, Western, P. Licks, and most other writers hold that the words of institution belong to this liturgy and should be supplied somewhere. Hammond Lock. Sit suggests many arguments for their former presence. The reason of their absence is uncertain. While some hold that this essential passage dropped out in times of ignorance, others say it never was there at all, being unnecessary, since the consecration was held to be effected by the subsequent epiclesis alone. Another theory, evidently of Western origin and not quite consistent with the general Eastern theory of consecration by an epiclesis following Christ's words, is that, being the formula of consecration, it was held too sacred to be written down. It does not seem to be quite certain whether Church of the East priests did or did not insert the words of institution in old times, but it seems that many of them do not do so now. The prayer of the Great Oblation with a second memorial of the living and the dead, a kushapa, the g. Hantha of the Epiclesis, or invocation of Holy Spirit. The Epiclesis itself is called Nithi Mar may he come, o Lord, from its opening words. The Liturgy of the Apostles is so vague as to the purpose of the invocation that, when the words of institution are not said, it would be difficult to imagine this formula to be sufficient on any hypothesis, Eastern or Western. The anaphory of Nestorius and Theodore, besides having the words of institution, have definite invocations, evidently copied from Antiochian or Byzantine forms. The older Chaldean and the Malabar Catholic books have inserted the words of institution with an elevation, after the epiclesis. But the 1901 Mosul edition puts the words of institution first, here follow a prayer for peace, a second lavabo and a sensing. The fraction, consignation, conjunction, and commixture The host is broken in two, and the sign of the cross is made in the chalice with one half, after which the other with the half that has been dipped in the chalice. The two halves are then reunited on the paten. Then a cleft is made in the host. Qua parti intincta est in sanguine. Renato's tr, and a particle is put in the chalice, after some intricate arranging on the paten. 
Topic: Communion. Topic: The veil is thrown open. The deacon exhorts the communicants to draw near. The priest breaks up the host for distribution. Then follows the Lord prayer, with introduction and embolism, and the Sancta Sanctus, and then the antiphon of the Bema communion is sung. The communion is in both species separately, the priest giving the host and the deacon the chalice. Then follows a variable antiphon of thanksgiving, a post-communion, and a dismissal. Afterwards the makaprana, an unconsecrated portion of the holy loaf, is distributed to the communicants, but not, as in the case of the Greek antidoron, and as the name of the latter implies, to non-communicants. The Chaldean Catholics are communicated with the host dipped in the chalice. They reserve what is left of the holy gifts, while the Church of the East priests consume all before leaving the Church, properly, and according to their own canons. The Church of the East ought to say Mass on every Sunday and Friday, on every festival, and daily during the first, middle, and last week of Lent and the octave of Easter. In practice it is only said on Sundays and greater festivals, at the best, and in many churches not so often, a sort of dry Mass being used instead. The Chaldean Catholic priests say Mass daily, and where there are many priests there will be many Masses in the same church in one day, which is contrary to the Church of the East Canons. The Anglican editions of the liturgies omit the names of heretics and call the Anaphory of Nestorius and Theodore the second hallowing and third hallowing. Otherwise there are no alterations except the addition of words of institution to the first anaphory. The recent Catholic edition has made the same alterations and substituted Mother of God for Mother of Christ. In each edition the added words of institution follow the form of the rite of the edition. The prayers of the Mass, like those of the Orthodox Eastern Church, are generally long and diffuse. Frequently they end with a sort of doxology called kanuna which is said aloud, the rest being recited in a low tone. The kanuna in form and usage resembles the Greek ekphonesis. The vestments used by the priest at Mass are the sudra, a girded alb with three crosses in red or black on the shoulder, the arara or stole worn crossed by priests, but not by bishops as in the West, and the mapra, a sort of linen cope. The deacon wears the sudra, with a arara over the left shoulder. Topic. Divine office Topic. The nucleus of this is, as it is usual, the recitation of the Psalter. There are only three regular hours of service evening, midnight, and morning with a rarely used compline. In practice only morning and evening are commonly used, but these are extremely well attended daily by laity as well as clergy. When the Church of the East had monasteries which is no longer the case seven hours of prayer were the custom in them, and three halali of the Psalter were recited at each. This would mean a daily recitation of the whole Psalter. The present arrangement provides for seven halali at each ferial night service, ten on Sundays, three on memorials, and the whole Psalter on feasts of our Lord. At the evening service there is a selection of from four to seven psalms, varying with the day of the week, and also a shariah, or short psalm, with generally a portion of peas, cxviii, varying with the day of the fortnight. At the morning service the invariable psalms are cix, xc, ciii, 1 to 6, cxii, xcii, cxlviii, cl, cxvi. On ferias and memorials. Ps, CXLVI is said after Ps, CXLVIII, and on Ferias Ps, 1, 1 18, comes at the end of the Psalms. The rest of the services consist of prayers, antiphons, litanies, and verses inserted, like the Greek stichira, but more extensively, between verses of Psalms. On Sundays, the Gloria in Excelsis and Benedict are said instead of Ps, CXLVI. Both morning and evening services end with several prayers, a blessing, Kuthama sealing, the kiss of peace, and the creed. The variables, besides the psalms, are those of the feast or day, which are very few, and those of the day of the fortnight. These fortnights consist of weeks called, before, q dom, and after, whether, according to which of the two choirs begins the service. Hence the book of the divine office is called q dom u whether, or at full length k thawa dactam wadwathar, the book of before and after. 
Topic: Liturgical calendar. Topic: The year is divided into periods of about seven weeks each, called Shau. I. These are Advent, called Subara, Annunciation, Epiphany, Lent, Easter, the Apostles, Summer, Elias and the Cross, Moses, and the Dedication, Kuddish idta. Moses and the dedication have only four weeks each. The Sundays are generally named after the Shau, in which they occur. Fourth Sunday of Epiphany, Second Sunday of the Annunciation, etc. Though sometimes the name changes in the middle of a Shau. A. Most of the memorials, Dukrani, or saints. Days, which have special lections, occur on the Fridays between Christmas and Lent, and are therefore movable feasts, but some, such as Christmas, Epiphany, the Assumption, and about thirty smaller days without proper lections are on fixed days. There are four shorter fasting periods besides the Great Fast Lent. These are The Fast of Mar Zaya, the three days after the second Sunday of the Nativity The Fast of the Virgins, after the first Sunday of the Epiphany the Regation of the Ninevites, 70 days before Easter. The Fast of Mart Mariam, Our Lady, from the 1st to the 14th of August. The Fast of the Ninevites commemorates the repentance of Nineveh at the preaching of Jonas, and is carefully kept. Those of Mar Zaya and the Virgins are nearly obsolete. As compared with the Latin and Greek calendars, that of the Chaldeans, whether Catholic or Assyrian, is very meager. The Malabar Rite has largely adopted the Roman calendar, and several Roman days have been added to that of the Chaldean Catholics. The Chaldean Easter coincides with that of the Roman Catholic Church. Other sacraments and occasional services the other sacraments in use in the Church of the East are baptism, with which is always associated an anointing, which is in other Eastern rites answers to confirmation, holy order and matrimony, but not penance or unction of the sick. The Chaldean Catholics now have a form not unlike the Byzantine and West Syriac. The nearest approach to penance among the Nestorians is a form, counted as a sacrament, for the reconciliation of apostates and excommunicated persons, prayers from which are occasionally used in cases of other penitents. A Semani's arguments Ibid, for a belief in penance as a sacrament among the ancient Nestorians or for the practice of auricular confession among the Malabar Nestorians are not conclusive. The Chaldeans have a similar form to that of the Roman Rite. The Assyrian Church of the East omits matrimony from the list, and make up the number of the mysteries to seven by including the Holy Leaven and the Sign of the Cross, but they are now rather vague about the definition or numeration. The only other rite of any interest is the consecration of churches. Oil, but not chrism, plays a considerable part in these rites, being used in baptism, possibly in confirmation, in the reconciliation of apostates, etc., in the consecration of churches, and the making of bread for the Eucharist. It is not used in ordination or for the sick. There are two sorts of oil, the one is ordinary olive oil, blessed or not blessed for the occasion, the other is the oil of the holy horn. The last, which, though really only plain oil, represents the chrism or myron of other rites, is believed to have been handed down from the apostles with the holy leaven. The legend is that the Baptist caught the water which fell from the body of Christ at his baptism and preserved it. He gave it to St. John the Evangelist, who added to it some of the water which fell from the pierced side. At the Last Supper Jesus gave two loaves to St. John, bidding him keep one for the holy leaven. With this St. John mingled some of the blood from the side of Christ. After Pentecost the apostles mixed oil with the sacred water, and each took a horn of it, and the loaf they ground to pieces and mixed it with flour and salt to be the holy leaven. The holy horn is constantly renewed by the addition of oil blessed by a bishop on Maundy Thursday. The baptismal service is modeled on the Eucharistic. The Mass of the Catechumens is almost identical, with of course appropriate collects, psalms, litanies, and lections. After the introductory Gloria, Lord S prayer, Marmitha, in this case Psalm chapter 88, and its collect follow the imposition of hands and the signing with oil. After which follow an antiphon of the sanctuary and peace, XLIV, CIX, CXXXI, with giuri, litanies, and collects. Then the Lacumara, Trisagion, and lections, Epistle and Gospel, and the Karazutha. After which the priest says the prayer of the imposition of hands, and the unbaptized are dismissed. An antiphon answering to that of the mysteries follows, and then the creed is said. 
The bringing forward of the holy horn and the blessing of the oil take the place of the offertory. The anaphora is paralleled by Sursum Corda, Preface, and Sanctus, Anithi Mar, or Epiclesis, upon the oil, a commixture of the new oil with that of the holy horn, and the Lord's Prayer. Then the font is blessed and signed with the holy oil, and in the place of the communion comes the baptism itself. The children are signed with the oil on the breast and then anointed all over, and are dipped thrice in the font. The formula is N, be thou baptized in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then follows the post-baptismal thanksgiving. Confirmation follows immediately. There are two prayers of confirmation and a signing between the eyes with the formula. N, is baptized and perfected in the name, etc. It is not quite clear whether oil should be used with this signing or not. Then any oil that remains over is poured into the holy horn, held over the font, and the water in the font is loosed from its former consecration with rather curious ceremonies. The Chaldean Catholics have added the renunciations, profession of faith, and answers of the sponsors from the Roman ritual, and anoint with chrism. The marriage service baraka, blessing, has nothing very distinctive about it, and resembles closely the Byzantine, and to some extent the Jewish rite. The orders of the Church of the East are those of reader Karuya, subdeacon Hiupathiakna, deacon Shamasha, priest Kashisha, archdeacon Arkidyakuna, and bishop Apaskupa. The degree of archdeacon, though has an ordination service of its own, is only counted as a degree of the presbyterate, and is by some held to be the same as that of Choripiscopus which never involved episcopal ordination in the Church of the East. When a priest is engaged in sacerdotal functions, he is called kana i.e., larius, sacerdos and a bishop is similarly rab kani chief of the priests, archarius, pontifex. Quashisha and apiscupa only denote the degree. Kana the, priesthood, is used of the three degrees of deacon, priest, and bishop. The ordination formula is N, has been set apart, consecrated, and perfected to the work of the diaconate or of the presbyterate to the Levitical and Stephanite office or for the office of the Aaronic priesthood, in the name, etc., in the case of a bishop it is to the great work of the episcopate of the city of a similar formula is used for archdeacons and metropolitans. The consecration of churches or Madska consists largely of unctions. The altar is anointed all over, and there are four consecration crosses on the four interior walls of the sanctuary, and these in the lintel of the door and various other places are anointed. The oil is not that of the holy horn, but fresh olive oil consecrated by the bishop. <laughs> Manuscripts and additions Few of the manuscripts, except some lectionaries in the British Museum, were written before the 15th century, and most, whether Chaldean or Nestorian, are of the 17th and 18th. The books in use are Toxa, a priest's book, containing the Eucharistic service or Kadassa in its three forms, with the administration of other sacraments, and various occasional prayers and blessings. It is nearly the Eucologian of the Greeks see Rite of Constantinople. Katabda da Qutum Wad Watar Book of the Before and After", contains the ordinary of the Divine Office except the Psalter, arranged for two weeks. Masmor d. David, David, the Psalter, divided into Hulale, which answer more or less to the Kathismata of the Greeks. It includes the collects of the Hulale. Kiriana, Sliha w. Iwingalio, lections, epistles, and gospels, sometimes together, sometimes in separate books. Turgama, explanatory hymns sung before the Epistle and Gospel Hudra, containing the variables for Sundays, Lent and the fast of the Ninevites, and other holy days. Kaskal, a selection from the Hudra for weekdays. Gaza, containing variables for festivals except Sundays. Abukalima, a collectary, so called from its compiler, Elias III, Abu Kalim ibn Alkaditha, Metropolitan of Nisibis, and Patriarch 1175 Batha di Ninwe, rhythmical prayers attributed to Saint Ephraim, used during the fast of the Ninevites. Taxa de Mata, the office baptism. Baraka, the marriage service. Kathnita, the burial service for priests. Anita, the burial service for lay people. Taxa de Shemita, the ordination services. Taxa de Kasaya, the office of pardon or reconciliation of penitents, these last six are excerpts from the Taxa. 
Of the above the following have been printed in Syriac For the Church of the East the Toxa, in two parts, by Archbishop of Canterbury's Assyrian Mission Ermi, 1890 The Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge has published an English translation of the first part of the Toxa, both parts, "...unmodified except by the omission of the heretical names." Brightman Doctum Wadwathar, by the same Ermi, 1894, Davida, by the same Ermi, 1891. Kudra, in three volumes, by Mar Narsai Press Trichor, 1960, reprint 1993, for the Chaldean Catholics Missal Chaldaicum, containing the Liturgy of the Apostles in Syriac and Epistles and Gospels in Syriac with an Arabic translation, in Garshuni Propaganda Press Fol, Rome, 1767. A new and revised edition, containing the three liturgies and the lections, epistles, and gospels was published by the Dominicans at Mosul in 1901. The Order of the Church Services of Common Days, etc., from K. Thawa Doctum Wadwathar Octavo, Mosul, 1866, asterisk, Breviarium Chaldaicum in Usum Nationis Chaldaeci a Josepho Guriel Secundo Editum, 16 Mo, Propaganda Press, Rome, 1865. Breviarium Chaldaicum, etc., 8 Vo, Paris printed at Leipzig, 1886, for the Syro-Malabar Catholics. Ordo Chaldaicus Missa Bitorum Apostolorum, Juxta Ritum Ecclesia Malabaricae. Foll, Propaganda Press, Rome, 1774. Ordo Chaldaicus Ritum et Lectionum, etc., Foll, Rome, 1775. Ordo Chaldaicus Ministeri Sacramentorum Sanctorum, etc., Foll, Rome, 1775. These three, which together form a taxa and lectionary, are commonly found bound together. The propaganda reprinted the third part in 1845. Ordo baptize me adultorum juxta ritum ecclesia malabaricae chaldorum. Octavo, Propaganda Press, Rome, 1859, a Syriac translation of the Roman order. The Malabar Rite was revised in a Roman direction by Alexo de Menezes, Archbishop of Goa, and the revision was authorized by the controversial Synod of Diemper in 1599. So effectively was the original Malabar rite abolished by the Synod in favor of this revision, and by the Schismatics when in 1649, being cut off from their own Patriarch by the Spaniards and Portuguese, they put themselves under the Syriac Orthodox Patriarch in favor of the West Syriac Liturgy, that no copy is known to exist, but it is evident from the revised form that it could not have differed materially from the existing East Syriac rite. Topic. See also. Topic. Syriac Christianity West Syriac Rite Topic. References Topic. Topic. Sources Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Media related to East Syriac Rite at Wikimedia Commons The Center for the Study of Christianity, a comprehensive bibliography on Syriac Christianity This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Article name needed. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton.